Hey Lightweights, and here's what you can expect on today's episode of The Walking Dead, The Final Season. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. Why does she... She fucking knows some things. She fucking knows something. Okay, so a couple of you guys told me that I uh, need to be more careful with the exploration in this game because it's much more finicky with like the angle with which you're looking at it for showing oh, up that you can interact with it. Yep. Good. Um, so I'm gonna try to be better at that. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah, like ten. Huh. I like to do pictures too. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. What the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's... It's fine. It's all right. She says you can keep it. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Huh. You see her, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always like this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. <laughs> that was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Oh, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie... Uh, we were close. Me and her. Uh -uh. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Probably a lot more than they would like. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. <laughs> and I'm not exactly like a people person. You know, I know I sometimes have a habit have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. Yeah, me too. First I was gonna say, we're very like... Exactly my strong suit either. Very like in that way. Right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. My voice is doing better, but it's still gonna crack sometimes. <laughs> I should be getting back. Enjoy the art supplies, little man. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. <laughs> for me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's so That's cute! Good, he good. tried really hard! Yeah, he did. 
How about here? Me protecting Clem. Collectibles can be found in the world to decorate your room. Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm going to sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh, man. This bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. Okay, okay. You can sleep under the bed. Here, for your head. Let me know if you get cold. I will. Okay. Good night, AJ. Guys, the trauma um, he's freaking been through. Yeah. I'm glad we're not sleeping in the car anymore. Yeah. Me too. It's a sad existence when sleeping under a bed is better than your previous sleeping arrangements. Also, um, the finger thing a bunch of you told me was because it didn't import my save correctly. Again. It's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. And I considered... Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Starting a new save and trying hey, to get my previous import data. But I just did not have the time to do that, so... Uh, hopefully nothing major is going to impact Since this, you. but I guess we'll find out. Hi. Hey, Tennessee. What are you guys doing? I was looking for more pencils, but I wasn't able to find any. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's going to save the day. What are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh. They were weak. Oh. No. They were brave. Strong. Now, give it to me and... No. He's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Ugh, fine. Thanks. He's never had to share before, so we're gonna have to teach him how. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, they are. They've known each other a long time, huh? Oh, I don't like that. Marlon? Oh, thank God. <laughs> a fucking heart attack. Stay back. Wait, I thought we were friends. Whoa, what the hell's going Hey, 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 it's okay, bro. Shh. Damn. He said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. Sit, girl. See? 
she's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here, I'll show you. Do you trust me? I mean, we just met you, but... Rosie, shh. Sorry. I promise she's not gonna bite. Uh, uh, fuck. Okay, I guess. I can't hurt. <laughs> get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. No. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. What if I don't know how to whistle? Ready? This is the best I can do. Oh, that was a bad one. Normally I can do a little better than that. I can only do it inhaling That's and so not exhaling. Cool. See? Not so That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She really is. Holy She's shit. She's a headmaster's dog. Back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, we bailed. Rosie? All the other adults did. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> wow, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Louis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car. Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, got a shack for storage right here. Right along the river. It's secure, mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vi and Brody should be heading out there in a bit. Gonna get used to this. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. Yeah, that's probably smart. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. The greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. We had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help all the time. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends. Siblings, I another kid die we're not gonna let that happen i promise i mean we can't really promise that but i appreciate that i'll try to help everyone's counting on me to step up the leader they need me to be i really want to be that for them you and aj are two more mouths to feed maybe you can help me feed the rest so what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. If 
Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. I think we'd be better at hunting. Let's go do some hunting. Yeah. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Big place. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, we're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. I like how they actually made him look like a teenager. Like he's got the acne, he's growing hair on his chin, but just barely. Hunting grounds are usually clear of walkers. Sometimes they get caught in the snares and shit, though. You see a ribbon on a tree, traps are nearby. So watch where you step. Please, I think I can handle myself. <laughs> I'm basically a ninja. Skilled in the craft of martial arts. Oh, you two? I thought I was the only one. Me too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we got work to do. Not all of us have the privilege of being Marlin's lapdog. Oh, ouch. Someone's a little jealous. In my defense, I totally get things done. I just prefer to think of survival as more of a day-to-day -day task. So, you know, don't sweat the technique. What about everyone else? We need to work together as a team. I mean, sure, yeah, sometimes. You act like you're the only one with a strategy. You play the long game. You gotta have plans B, C, and D. And what if you don't make it that far? Shh, shut up a second. At least he's trapped. For now. Ah! Hey! Check this guy out! He's like a walker pinata! Dude. You're asking for trouble. You are asking for I'm trouble. Down. Fix the snare and let's go. I will, I will. Eventually. If you want food for the kid, I could use a hand. Or you can mess around with this idiot and starve. It's up to you. Oh, you can stand. So dramatic. I'm gonna leave Lewis to his pinata practice and go get some food. Come to hunt? I hear something rustle around in here. Yeah, let me help you out. Thanks for taking this shit seriously. I'll never understand that idiot. Uh, I, all I have to say is you if he gets shot. AJ hurt. Yeah. Good. I'll chase him out of the bush. You shoot. Oh god. That's a mistake. Last time I was out here, it looked like one of the rabbits had some babies. I'm not sure how many are still around, so careful where you shoot. Aim for the parents. Oh, fuck. You weren't lying. You're a damn good shot. Gonna need a few more like this if we're hoping to eat, though. I saw some others run this way. Looks like a meal. Oh, I whiffed it. Fuck. Yeah, don't worry about it. Better to save our arrows anyway. Clem! Clem, come here! Damn it. 
That's probably an achievement to get both of them. Look, they got one. It's a baby. Well, all meat is good meat. It's not enough. Release it. Let it get bigger. I'm hungry. So am I. But we'll be even hungrier tomorrow if we don't let him go. Tomorrow you gotta let it go. Dingus. There's just today. And today I'm hungry. We're hungry. Are you gonna do it? I can't watch. It's the same thing with fishing. You gotta let them go so they get big. Bunny. Really? What are we supposed to eat tonight then? Ah, oh, I get it. I wouldn't want to kill a baby bunny either. You'll thank me in a few months. If we live that long. All right. Well, the snares have all been reset and are ready to trap things. What about that? Go now or what? We're gonna be eating lean tonight. I'll take this back. You two should meet up with Brody and Violet and see if they've managed to snag any fish. This isn't gonna be enough for the whole school. I like this. <laughs> That's great. See ya. We magically have two bunnies now. Follow me. The girls are probably near the shack. <laughs> Do you like fish? I once ate a whole shark. No, you didn't. I gotta say, having a seafood allergy is a major detriment if it's the apocalypse. Is that a bird? What was that? Where's Vi and Birdie? They should be here by now. Clem, look. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? I don't know, is it? Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. <sighs> it's clear. I mean, from what we can see right Holy here, it's shit. clear. This place is wrecked. All our supplies are gone. I'll take a look around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this Good. a Bible page? Clementine? What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh, shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. She it's looks just... like she knows something. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> Take a second. Breathe in deep and hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. So what do we do? Eat rocks? We can't eat rocks. I'm aware. <laughs> Will Marlon oh, keep us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. Outside the safe zone. That's the only one that's gonna let us do. <laughs> Fuck. The train station. It's not too far from here. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. All right, fine. Lead the way. 
I mean, worst case, we could send those two back. Marlon won't get mad at us because it's just AJ and I. We're new to the group anyways. Oh, fuck, that's a lot. Someone is definitely dying, and we are 100% getting kicked out. <laughs> there. That's where the food is. A lot more workers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Half of them don't have their bottom jaws, Maybe though, so... Maybe things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. Barely got out of here. It was close. Sounds scary. There's a reason. I climb up there. I don't know how that would get us inside. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. What if we ring the bell and. I used that bell to attract a walker before. Could try it again. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it, Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. Oh, <laughs> God. He's so dead. I'll He's so you. dead. Give you some cover. Fine, I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. <laughs> At least he has a sense of humor I'll about it. Until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck. Oh, that's smart. I didn't think to take it off and bring it with us. I thought he was going to have to ring it and run. I was like, how's he going to ring it from up there? So I try to stun every time, but I can't get the angle right. There was a suggestion that I need to be looking at it more directly, but I thought I was doing a good job with it that time. Oh god, okay, here we go. Try again, try again. There, that time it worked. He's doing a great job. He was definitely the right one for that job. What is he waiting for? Come on, come on. Fucking boys. Just give him a second. We may not have a second. AJ, you can tell, has been freaking raised in this environment because he's keeping his cool so well right now. <gasps> oh, fuck. Definitely thought he was already dead. <laughs> well, like, dead, dead, not reanimated dead. You know what I mean. <laughs> they survived the blast really well. Look. 
try it out. See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just oh my case. god, that makes me so anxious. Just in case. I don't like it, I don't like it. Don't send it down there. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. I'm so anxious right now. I feel sick. It's gonna be a feast. food. Same reason you're here. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. Just passing through. Decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh huh. Then you just got extra lucky. I mean, kind of. That's what happened the first time. God, I hope AJ stays hidden under there. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group? Count you plus the two outside. I'm thinking maybe more. You ask too many questions. I don't like it. Fine. We can play it like that. If you want. Now, I want to fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Oh, fuck Don't this. Steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. Shoot him now. And let me go my mare. Fuck, that was our opportunity. I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. AJ, get down! <laughs> Oh god. What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. That should not have gone as well as it did. Holy fuck. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Let's go. How did we all just survive that? <sighs> oh my God. Merlin, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. He's gonna be so pissed at us. <laughs> How much longer do you think we're gonna stay here? How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Oh my god. Food! A 
like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped, too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. <laughs> where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Why does she... She fucking knows some things. She fucking knows something. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. It took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. Oh, God. Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Oh, really? I Think don't? Again. I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. I feel like we're missing something. Something I, very important. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But. Shit. God. Nothing's easy. It was risky, but it was worth it. Like you said, we can't lose another kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did say that. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. We better freaking ration it, though. Holy shit. Talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Also, can we try to clean up the greenhouse? Like, why can't we try to save the greenhouse? That seems really stupid and seems like a, you know, source of food That's that could be helpful. It. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. Ah. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. Did you eat anything? I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Sisters? They were both his sisters? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. I'm just gonna let him talk it out. I didn't like any of those. You know this kid's been through some shit. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was Aww. awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess that doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Oh my god. Something sick <sighs> and happy. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. <laughs> who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? 
they weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? It's kind of depressing because he's like drawing heaven or an afterlife. I almost forgot. Here you go. But also it clearly means a lot to it's him, so yours. I'm going to let him do it. It's ours. <laughs> so it's fucking late. sweet. Yeah. You guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. I love how we just left our bowl there. Let someone else do it. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down and then we'll see. Wait, can we hang our drawing up? He's you in, bed. in bed. By yourself. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And there were so many rabbits to shoot. Whoosh! <laughs> it's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. I don't they know. do. I really do. I do like it, but I feel safe somewhere. I don't trust that it's gonna stay this way. Here, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. I wanna hang this drawing up. There, that's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good too. Oh, I know. So he must have drawn the ranch. I'm assuming that's another thing that was different from the choices. So cute. That got messed up. I don't know if I should look around here. I kind of already looked around before, so I think I'm probably good. But I also feel like I'm probably missing things. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. Why did that feel ominous? I can't tell if it's a wind or... There's definitely people arguing. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. 
Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. I don't want to leave him here. Are you okay? They sound mad. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. I'm not. Why can't he come with us? I don't like that. I don't like that. Hide under the bed or something. Hide in the closet. I don't like this at all. Is that wind? What's that noise in the underneath? I guess it's wind. like Marlin. This locks from both sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. That's definitely Marlin. It kind of sounds like Brody, maybe? Oh yeah, it's just really windy out. According to the map, there should be another entrance to the basement around here. Okay. Why can no one else hear it? Or do they all just know what's going on so they don't care? She's sleeping out here just in case the people come back. I thought me pressing the bumper did that. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, wait, why'd that work? I don't know. You never know when you need something heavy to smash faces with. I just want to eavesdrop, because they're going to hear that. This is such a bad idea. We couldn't have chosen a more loud, obnoxious entrance if we had tried. You don't even know for sure it was them. She also said he got bit. GT ain't gonna bother us. You know he's not alone. Those bastards are back and it's 
only a matter of time before they find us. You oh, know that shit! Nothing to you! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So Sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She, she's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed of what- Shut up! Hmm. Uh, what'd you say? She was... I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. So, so, so. You're gonna be okay. I, I promise. God damn it! Hell! She said that. I told you not to say it! Please be okay. Get away from her. Come on, Marlon, come on. I mean it, Marlin. Step back! <sighs> okay. Okay. Just, just stay with her. There, there, there's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Oh, God. Remember? Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell him. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. I'll deal with Marlon. I promise you that. Yeah. Yeah, you will. You're strong. And he's not. If those raiders come back, said he'd let him take you. Take us? To make him go away. <laughs> like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. <laughs> Brody. <clears throat> oh, fuck. No. What am I gonna do? She's gonna turn. Marlin! Marlin, you son of a bitch! Don't do this! I'm sorry. I can't, I can't let you talk to the others. Well, I thought he was gonna Marlin! blame us for her death, Anyone? but, um... Sit in there and lift up the latch. Should have seen that one coming instead. Fucker. Fucker, I knew it! I fucking knew it! Yes, flashlight. That'll help. Oh my god, she's already gone. She's already fucking gone. We didn't bring our knife with us. Come on now, Clem. We gotta be smarter than that. Is that a... Yes, this will work. There she is. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack. I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Where are you? Oh my god, it's a dead end. music kind of sounds like Halloween. Oh my god, and the way that the light is red now. Oh my fucking god. They're so not gonna believe us. They're not gonna believe us. They're not gonna believe us. They don't know us. AJ, put the gun down. Get this fucking psycho away from me. Where is she? She's in the basement. She murdered Brody. What? Is that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? Hey, Marlin! You might want to get your story straight. Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Is just gonna come along and take it. I'm just saying. You have to believe me. You don't. You met her like two days ago. 
I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. I guess you never will. Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what would Minnie want you to do? She was my friend, too. So sprawly. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. You were there that day those raiders came? He would have abandoned you two! Oh my god. Oh my god, they actually believe us. Holy shit. Holy shit, they actually don't believe us. At all. Do you? I'm trying to protect you. All of you. Every fucking one of you. How is pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. Suck at protection! <laughs> I made the right call! I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school! If they came back, I'd do it again! Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable! They told me they died! I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away! Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin! They trusted you. A real leader would have sacrificed himself. I wanted to get them stakes, some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you, Sophie, Minerva. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, oh, I thought he was about to shoot himself. <sighs> really glad I, I made friends with everybody you. now. Shit, that could have been Let so bad. Excuse me as I burp into the microphone. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. Fine. <gasps> what? Aimed for the head. Oh, my. F oh, my fucking. Oh. Oh my, that's gonna be it. Everything was going so fucking well. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh no. You and 56% of players killed the Walker couple in the train station. 44% of players chose to let AJ go through the window. I, 
I can see why you would choose that, but I was having flashbacks from um, the second game. The second game. When uh, we, as Clem, tried to climb through the window, and then there's a walker in there, and we almost got got. So, kill the couple that's already dead. Check. Easy decision for me. Even 47% of players went hunting with Lewis in a sim. 53% of players went fishing. Hmm. I don't really... I, obviously, the storyline would have been a little different, but I don't think that one really was an impactful decision. Even 29% of players let AJ sleep under the bed. 71% of players convinced AJ to sleep on the bed. Listen, as a parent, there are certain battles you don't fight because it's unnecessary. If the kid wants to sleep under the bed because he feels more comfortable doing it, let him sleep under the goddamn bed. And he chose to sleep on the bed all on his own the next day. No fight, no hassle, and you still got what you wanted in the end. So, I stick by that decision. Even 78% of players attacked Abel rather than giving him food. 22% of players surrendered food to Abel. I could see that. I could see that. However, I saw an easy opportunity to get him out of the picture. He was going to kill us, potentially, so... I don't hate my decision. I would be curious to see how it changed if um, you just gave him food. Would he still have died in the end? Or would he just have left? Because then if he left, Brody's fears are much more valid. Um, so that whole sequence with Brody having that panic attack makes more sense. Uh, versus the fact that obviously he's dead because he's been bitten. We know he's been bitten. So he's probably not going to come a knock in. And if he does, he's knocking with a dead hand. I don't know. I, don't, I was going to try to be witty there, but it didn't work out. You and 61% of players turned to Violet to help against Marlin. 39% of players turned to Lewis. Um, honestly, I it was a crapshoot for me. I felt like I just had the potentially better relationship with Violet. Um, but I honestly think either would have worked for me because I think I did a good job cultivating both of those friendships. Um, but I guess I don't know. Especially after making Lewis go ring the bell. I don't know if he would have been on my side when I used him as bait. <laughs> um, cool. Okay. She, you and 61% left Violet feeling guilty. She was pleased after you complimented her fighting skills. Violet was flattered after you comforted her in the dorm rooms. Oh, so she felt guilty, so she helped us. We made him feel heartbroken. He felt lonely when you chose to hunt rabbits with a sim. When you told him about killing a loved one, he sympathized with your pain. So because we didn't play zombie pinata with him, he felt heartbroken? Oh, boy. She was appalled when you downplayed the encounter with Abel. Okay, well, she's dead. Could she not have? Is it possible she wouldn't have died? I feel like that had to happen, right? Resentful? Ten was understanding of her hesitancy when you first met him. When you allowed him to draw you, he generously gifted you his drawing. So resentful not towards us. Resentful to Marlin. Right? You left Marlin feeling dead. Marlin was relieved to be forgiven for his actions towards the twins and Brody. He felt proud when you trusted him with Rosie. Either way, he feels dead now. Oh, we left AJ hardened. Oh, fuck. Did I fuck that up? Am I fucking up my child? Th this child, not my real life child. Although I'll probably do that on accident too. Just kidding. I'm amazing, mom. Um, anyways, AJ was resolved to sleep under the bed after the first night at school. He was satisfied when you attacked Abel at the train station. I feel like you have to be hardened if you want to survive in this world. I don't hate it. Omar was glad you checked in on him before dinner. Ruby was disgusted when you encouraged AJ's bad manners. <laughs> you learned how to bond with Rosie with Marlon's help. 
Mitch was happy to show off his weaponry skills to you. As Sim appreciated that you helped him hunt rabbits. Willie was fascinated by you when you met him for the first time. <laughs> Two out of six collectibles. <laughs> yes, winning. <laughs> Typically, I care about the collectibles. But, um... I don't have time when I'm recording to care about them during this, unfortunately. If I were playing this on my own, though, I'd have to have my whole room decked out for sure. All right, guys. So obviously I'm going to stop there because um, the episode is done. Uh, before I get into my final thoughts for the episode, I would like to thank my patrons and channel members for making all of this possible. Cornvic, Paul, Albin, Artist Jack, Roderick, Patrick, Heath, Barry D, Niall, James, Simone, Riley, Fantasy Hawkeye, Dan, Reagan, Jago, Red, Loner, Larry, Tom, Meat Wizard, and Rape, who I left off last time, so I apologize, and thank you, Rape. <laughs> I'm going to put your name on there multiple times, just because I am sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me! Um, but thank you guys for supporting the channel and allowing me to do this full time. Um, I really appreciate it. Even when I accidentally forget your name is on the list, I promise I still appreciate you. <laughs> Um, anyways, so my thoughts for this, um, holy shit, <laughs> holy shit, holy shit. Uh, okay. So I knew obviously right away that, um, not all was well in the state of Denmark. If you pick up my literary butchered reference, um, I knew it was too good to be true. I knew there was some sort of a divide and something didn't feel right. Uh, but I also didn't think it was going to be with Marlin. I thought it was going to be with a Sim. <laughs> I thought a Sim was unhappy and was going to leave or get a group to leave or something. I don't know. Um, sorry, my hair is always very flat after the headphones and then I'm all self-conscious about it. Anyways, um, Marlin sometimes felt a little off to me, but I would never in a million years have guessed that he gave people up. Like human trafficking? Like what? I don't even want to think about what those poor girls are going through because holy fuck, you sold two teenage girls to fucking raiders. I just... My stomach is literally in knots thinking about that. So I'm not going to think about it anymore. Um... And then, obviously, I was like, oh, fuck, we're screwed. Everyone is, like, no one was trusting us. Violet was not on our side. It was just a clusterfuck. And they knew him for forever. However, I could tell the tides were turning. Because they didn't seem all that surprised when we came out and said, no, 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 he killed Brody. Like, they all, it seemed like they clearly knew he had a temper. Um, and the fact that he killed Brody didn't seem surprising to them. All of them, however, seemed very shocked that he would have given up two of their own to raiders. Um, but what the fuck? I don't know. If we had raised AJ not in the hardened way, would he have shot him? I feel like that's a plot point that kind of has to happen, right? Unless... Maybe that doesn't have to happen. Maybe we, maybe the other alternative is they don't believe us. Regardless, I feel like we're getting kicked out. There's no way they're letting us stay after that. There's no way. Although I don't know, they do believe us. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like they're going to kick us out. Or maybe, okay, hold on. Maybe they're not going to kick us out. Maybe we're going to work with them to get the girls back. Maybe, I think we're going to get kicked out. There's probably multiple ways you could have gotten there, but I think the end result is going to be they're not going to let AJ stay, and obviously Clem's not going to stay without AJ. That's just not going to happen. So I feel like we're going to be on the road again and probably running into those Raiders. So super anxious about the next episode. Um, definitely curious to see what happens and where the story goes, but holy fuck fuck, that was a doozy. And I legitimately, I know I've said this multiple times, feel sick to my stomach right now. I feel sick to my stomach. But it was really good. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I keep burping, sorry. If you did, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> 
hit that bell button when you do so you don't you don't miss future belching burping that I tried to keep quiet moments. Okay, thanks for watching. I appreciate your support even through all of that. Have a great day.